Friends, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world in this big, huge, round ball that we all share and all live. And we all have the same color blood. When you cut yourself, it comes out red. We share a sun, we share a moon. We share many things, friends. And we probably, if you run power saw or chainsaw, you may know it as, you may have experienced your power saw should cut straight and it should cut smooth. And it should feel when you're when you're running it, you, you, you should feel really good. Yeah, like really good. Not frustrated and 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 jerky and 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 impatient and, and wondering why this isn't working like it should. It should just cut right through the log. You, you, you shouldn't need to push on it. So, <clears throat> therefore, we would think that it is all in the filing. This is a correct assumption. One of the main reasons I opened up this YouTube channel was I saw a lot of videos on YouTube, people talking about uh, counting their, their strokes when they're filing their power saw. And that, that really made me chuckle. To be honest with you, it was, it was humorous, I, I just thought. But, but then I saw uh, the amount of subscribers that people had, YouTubers or anybody, and, and they were sharing this information saying, this is why this is happening. And it clearly is not. So that for me, uh, being a... a a, a man who who knows how enjoyable running a power saw is and and how our time is as as humans these days our leisure time and our pleasure time for ourselves sometimes is is minimal so when we're doing those activities running power saw is one of them getting our wood in for our family we want to go out and we want to fire up and cut boom 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 production enjoyment feeling good you know not 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 humped over a log trying to figure out why my saw is cutting on an angle and all this craziness shouldn't need to do any of that it's i'll tell you right now it's got nothing to do with the size of your teeth being different that i can guarantee you <laughs> so i've done videos like this before and i'm doing another one right now because we have 188,000 people here and the last time i did a video like this I think I was in the 50,000 area. So this is for the newcomers, maybe a refresher for the for the people that have been here for a long time. True Blues, I love you. Um, friends, this is something I know about, so that's why I share these types of things. Let's get at it, enjoy the video. Uh, if your power saw is cutting on an angle and you don't know why, uh, I, we all do what we're gonna do because we are creatures of habits. And we're going to do what we're going to do. Aren't we, friends? I mean, let's face it, we are. But you can stop counting your teeth if you like. Your strokes. You, you, From today forward in your power saw journey, your chainsaw journey, you can stop counting the amount of strokes you're filing. You can drop that right out of your mind. Save the space. It's, it's gasoline burnt that doesn't need to be burnt and energy that needs to go into your cutting and loving life and loving cutting. Let's enjoy this video. Over and out. All right, friends, how's everybody doing? So I just wanna, I wanna run through a couple little things here. Just, I'm, I'm doing my, uh, I'm doing my duty here as a man, as a husband, a father, and a friend. Uh, We've been, my wife is such a hard worker. She runs a, a, an incredible home. We have an, an old school family and old school beliefs and values and we live by them and we don't waver. Um, I just wanted to, there, there's a big debate out there and there has been for, forever. And, and it's, a, it's actually, unfortunately what it is and I, and I don't want to be rude, but the facts are the facts. It's people that, are hearing things and not experiencing them and just saying, this is what I heard, or this is what I saw or read, but have you experienced it? Have you experienced it? Have you gone? 
It makes no difference. <laughs> I'm telling you this, I've got the video and it's about time we did another one too to show you the newcomers because we have not done a video like that, friends, True Blues, everybody, men, women, children for a long, long time, friends. We haven't. So uh, this is on my 1010. You'll see it here as I'm going. Uh, for instance, that, that one right there is, well, it's, I guess half a chain. Well, the next one down, this one, look at it. It's freaking right on the line. It's on the line, friends. Uh, the next one up is about a half a tooth. The next one, small again. They're all different. Look at this one. It's a freaking, almost a full chain. It's not, but you know what I'm saying, friends, okay? Look at, they're all different heights. Every single tooth is a different height. It's 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 foobar actually. This is right there. See, so so I'm I'm actually done. Let's go to this side now. Let's do this. Okay. Let's 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 do this. We got a good hook in this chain, friends. We do in this side. Why? Probably because it's a bigger chain. There's more meat on it. So I pretty much just need to stay on course here now and bring up our top our top edge, right? Our top corner, top plate and and working corner. All right, there we go. Sorry friends, but I, I want you guys to understand what a tooth should look like when you get back. There it is. Okay, there she be. And actually you can see it's the same friends. Okay, here's the analogy. This is what you want. Story, here's the deal. You see what's happening? Okay, you see what's going on? Yeah. There's a C there, an opening. What about back here? Oh, heavens to Betsy. There's some space there. Friends, this is what you need. Hi, boy. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, they're super nice, buddy. Say hi to them for me, okay? I will, yeah. Do you have any idea what it might be? It's limbing. Oh, cool. Yeah, just some limbing. See, so there it is, friends. Actually, you know what's cool about this is you can't see my hand because it's past. That's so cool. Look. So so this is what I'm doing. This is all I'm doing here, friends. I'm just going through the motion here again to show you kind of. And what you can do for changing of angles. Okay? So when I when I when I don't have a gullet, I go like that. Okay? And this is the boat in action. Okay? The boat, okay? If you don't like the boat, then just go straight down on your gullet like that. Grab your gullet. You're not even on the top plate. You're, you're not. Fling. Get the gullet, then straighten out. Here's our next tooth. See there? See how we've got... It's, it's, it's adequate, but I am slowly... There's meat there that I'd like gone. So this is what I do. See, I'm on a little angle down. Just a little bit. And I can, I can actually show you what we got here, if you like. I'll stop right here. It's not sharp, but, but see what's happened? I've dug the gullet down, okay? So here we go. I'm just now, now I glide through because I've already pulled my gullet, so I do not need to go down anymore. So I change my, my strength up. I, I just, I literally change my strength. I start letting the file pu uh, pull fiber and find that angle that I need to be on. That's why counting strokes, because every little stroke you do, you change a little bit. You do, friends. So, so there we go. It's a nice little factory hook there, okay? This one's kind of, you know, same ordeal. But the angle's a bit different on this. So I'm just going to quickly... And this is what you hear. See that? You're, you're hearing it tinkle back on the back of the raker, just so I stay in my groove. That, that, that's what you're hearing. That's not dragging your file back. Dragging your file back is this, right? That's, that would be dragging your file back. This is not. Okay? Professionals do that so they can stay in the groove and not have to go. You know what I'm saying, friends. I'm just over-exaggerating, but that's why we do it. We stay in the groove. Watch anybody that has been cutting for 20 years. They'll do the same. 
I'm running out of file here now. I'm going to have to pick up a new file. Okay. See how many strokes that was? It was gnarly. Over and out, friends. Friends, listen. Running power saw is a blast. It's a freaking blast when you have, you don't need 113 horsepower or, or CC. 650 and 60 and 70 CCs is plenty. CCs is plenty. Learn to file properly. It's all in the filing, friends. It is. And your bar maintenance, keeping your bar true. Flip your bar. If you went out and bucked for four hours one day with your buddy out in the bush, you filed a couple times, you, you, you hit a couple of things, you rocked it, you filed it, you cut all day. Flip the bar when you get home. Pop the thing off, flip it over, clean your bar rails, your oil holes out, flip it over, sharpen your chain, you're ready for the morning. It'll wear evenly on that bar. And you'll, you'll cut down on your problems. All right, I just want to give you a different angle to show you kind of what I do. See, there's that boat for maybe two or three strokes. That's it. Now I straighten out, pull this back so I'm not hitting my arm. We go. I pull just as much as I do push. Actually, I pull more when I file this way. See what I'm doing? There it is. It's sharp. It's got a hook. It's ready. Next. This tooth has, it needs it, this chain needs its gullet put back in it. I don't know where this chain came from. I think it might have come from a saw I bought and salvaged out the chain because it's in really rough shape. Or I smashed something and, and just didn't get it back. It's full house. The files, uh, in rough shape actually i don't think i should play around too much with it anymore it's kind of a waste of time when it starts skipping like that use your whole file when you're learning to file change the angles a little bit see what happens to your chain when you change your when you change your angle of your file these are gullet strokes that's all this is actually now that i got my gullet i straighten out which will straighten out my top Play, then I'll ride straight through and I'll get a sharp tooth. Friends, I just want to show this angle and uh, if, if, if you want to find an easier way to get the gullet than just, you know, sitting in there normally and, and pushing down, here's what I started doing before I started doing the boat and it gets the gullet right now and you're done. This is what I do. So say this is your normal stance for filing. Okay, just like this. Go like that. Did you see what I just did? Like this. Now go like that. And just go like this. One, two, three, four. Depending on how bad it is. There we go. I got a massive gullet in there now. But it's going to shrink the gullet. The C will get more. It won't be like this. After I file it, it'll straighten out and be normal now. Because now my file's under and sitting in underneath the top plate. So now I literally, I straighten out my file and I go back to normal because the gullet's gone. It's out of there. You'll pull off a, a, a curve or a, pardon me, a, a, I always forget that word. Uh, gosh, a burr. You'll pull your burr. So there we go. And you just let the file do the work, friends. Look. I'm just sliding it through there. Don't push too hard, then you'll know. There's a beautiful tooth. It's freaking, it's, it's perfect. It's, it's ready to go. Okay, friends, I hope this stuff helps you. Cause I, I, I just rock the boat because then it gets, it gets the inside of the gullet too. It's just, it's just what I do. This is bad, this one's been rocked. Over there, it was rocked horribly this thing. See, now oh, I should almost close up you guys on that. It's a great big burr. <laughs> there it goes. It's still sitting there. I'm just going to show you. It, finger. Look at <laughs> that thing. <laughs> right? Okay, so there it goes. Okay. So I hope that helps.
We'll get on to the to the gauge here in a minute, the raker gauge. Okay, friends. So here's kind of the I'm I'm at the last tooth here now, and this should give you an inclination of what this chain is all about. Look at the teeth; they're all different sizes. This was my last tooth I'm filing right here. And it is, it is foobar. So you think to yourself, okay, well, how's that going to cut? It's, it's crazy. It's going to, it's going to be crazy. Well, um, yeah, it, it would be if you didn't use a raker gauge or a depth gauge for the technical man. Okay. So... Okay, so th there it is. There is our our gig. I mean, look at it. Look at there's that one. It's like half a tooth. This one's nothing. It's on the line. This one, same deal on the line. It's all like that, friends. See, there's you know what I mean. It's all over. The whole freaking chain is is everywhere. <laughs> look at it. <laughs> okay, look at that one. <laughs> so but but now what a guy does what a guy does is is if you have this raker gauge this one the husky one okay this is a full house chain this is a demonstration how to use this thing grab your flat file on the flat files all right there she be now this drops in Right here. You don't, it, it, it's this what's as important. This here, see? This goes on here. I don't use softwood setting, see? On, on full house chain, I, I don't do it. I use the hardwood setting. They slide in the, yeah, so this may be, this chain may be a little bit, well, We'll see. Well, maybe not. I'm just checking them. Maybe a little jumpy because of rakers. But maybe not. Yeah, see, there's one that's high, you see? So if, if you just fired up and cut, you, you'd be jumping around. For starters, because that raker was high, so is this one. I think I know what I did. I think I did this by hand. This chain was in horrible shape, friends. It was, but it just had too much meat on it to throw it away. So it's kind of a, a stump cutter, you know what I mean? A, a root or a, a low stump cutter. I just leave them on for jobs like that. Yeah, see? Okay, so that's the deal with that. Okay. Okay. Let's go through this hard freaking wood again.
friends. That is about the hardest wood you're gonna get around here. And I realized that <laughs> I just, I try not to go off too much, you know, friends about this stuff because I, I don't wanna seem like I'm, you know, ramming something down you, you know, it, it's friends. It, it cutting straight has nothing to do with your chain teeth being different. It does not. Okay, well, I gotta go cut a couple um, shelves for my wife. Yeah, you can. Good. Here's our here's our our new shelves. This live edge stuff is wicked. Really nice. I'm actually really happy about that. <laughs> I am. This has all been cut by a power saw, friends. These are our two shelves going above the dishwasher. Hey, live edge. It, it's this little tool is helping me so much right now. This was all cut with a power saw straight off. That's going to be so nice. Up here. Just, just Santa with sandpaper. I just hit it with that silly thing you're standing on there. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. Yeah. Those things work really good. But look at this, babe. Yeah. Look at what what oh, happened. Oh, that's beautiful. You see, I took the took it down with that thing, and this is what, like, you can do really neat things with that and make it look natural, eh? <laughs> Funny that it's there, but you sure use it, don't you? Oh. Every day. Oil sure makes wood look good. Eh? It does, Al. It this is and this has got varnish in it, so it, it's not just oil. This is like a two step uh, uh, or one step gig. Don't they? Is that right, eh? Oil is in the Because the varnish so. is hard to get off when they well, go to finish it. If there's, I like no, if there's any dampness in the wood at all. Oh. It'll blister. It'll lift the varnish. Oh, okay. And you can never get all the dampness out of the Right. That makes sense. But this oh, is... Gosh. What kind of wood is it? It's that? maple. But it's... Too. Yeah. It's live edge. It's just ch big chunks of... This thing's turning out re, re, re crazy. Yeah, that was uh, Emma and Jalen. Oh, you too. That's eye mascara or something. 
That is Eyeshadow. Oh, awesome. Yeah, they're talking about that, friends. Think. Wendy <laughs> Show. My little baby. Little Buckin, they call him. Little Buckin. And that they, is the best thing I've seen in a very long time. Yeah, it's excellent. It's so excellent. So Look at that. Emma and Jalen did that, honey. You guys That's are the so best. Cute. You nailed it. Yeah, they did. Pretty cool. That is hilarious. Anyway, friends, that's going to wrap up this video. So, uh, again, friends, thanks for watching. It's a, it's just kind of a domestic day today. We got to get these things done. When you're a married guy, you know, you got all these wife things to do. And you do them if you're a smart man. I love you all. Over and out and be kind to one another. Right, Chester? Ready? Yeah, I think so. He knows. <laughs> Friends, I'm kind of in a zone right now because I feel like a caveman. I hunted <laughs> and I, I got my food <laughs> and I'm eating this food. And I'm telling you something, we're, we live in a family, Wendy's family, that are all fishermen. Wendy's all these, family? Yeah, there's Alan, they're all fishermen. Indians and fishermen. <laughs> <laughs> Indians okay. and loggers. Indians and loggers, okay. And first names, but so there's been fish around forever. Okay, so we've had the finest, but I'm telling you something. We've also had frozen fish. This thing we caught yesterday, this little sucker. You and Ganges. Me and the boy and Pops, we were out on a fishing trip. But I'm telling you right now, it does not get better than that right there. Mm -hmm. You don't put any tartar sauce or nothing on it. To me, it would wreck it. Um, it it's crazy but we had to call in the great spirit here to great spirit to cook it because uh the young spirit wendy she's cooked a ton of fish but she just wanted to make sure she had to call on the elder you see <laughs> to cook to now she knows uh, she was concerned about no it, it, crumbling honey is that what, what the concern was yeah crumbling and um apparently the next day Again, the great spirits information. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, the old fisherman too, yeah. That was the old salt. Oh, the old salt of the sea. The old salt of the sea had that that little uh, tidbit for us there. But I'm telling you right now, I'm just I'm so at peace right now, nibbling on this little sucker and googly-eyed guy that gave his life for us. Friends, I hope you enjoyed our videos. We'll catch you on the next one. Be kind to one another.